What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Center for Stingray Biology. Today we have another unboxing video for you. I'm already back from the airport. We have already unloaded all the boxes and we're going to be cracking these boxes open in just a minute. I think we have a total of 14 or 15 boxes. These are double boxes coming out of Peru and they've been in transit for about I think like uh, 20 something hours. All right. So um, let's get started. Yeah, just to start with box number one right there. First, no, number two, it doesn't matter. All right, so it's a nice change for now. I'm gonna let Oi open the boxes and I'll do a little bit of filming. Once she gets it open, we'll pull some of the bags out and then uh, I'll step in and take over. But let's get a quick peek at what the first box looks like. There's a piece of tape here also. And did they tape? Oh my oh god, they my taped goodness. the tops too. All right, I, I take the camera. So, the worst thing is when they tape these tops open because it's hard to get to the fish and we have to uh, slice it. And I think what they did is they crisscrossed and they went around, which I knew it. So, but I have to preserve these boxes because I have to use them to ship it. Maybe you told them to do it. Huh? No. They, they have to. The box was so heavy. If they didn't do it, they would have fell apart. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Very oh. nice packing job. They're all individually packed with newspaper. Can we see what's in here? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can you see it, Oi? It's a no. tiny Did little... See the, yeah. You see the little fish? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, you guys know what it is? These are the Kappa Petrum, the false Piraiba out of Peru. Okay, so they're all individually packed, but they all look fine. Wow, they are tiny. Okay, this well we're gonna have to start popping these rubber bands, and uh, I don't look forward to this, do you? This is gonna be a lot of work, but we're not gonna be repacking them individually. We're gonna open up and consolidate them into 10 per bag and then rebag it and, and, and uh, send it off on its way. All right, so we opened up a few boxes already and uh, always hard at work there opening up the rest of them. Uh, like I showed you already, very nice packing job. And we have a couple of the bags here that doesn't have the newspaper. So now I can show you better what we are dealing with today. All right, um, so they all came in really nice. The water is very clean. They, as you can see, they're very active and healthy. So I'm just going to be changing the water, uh, reoxing it, and packing it back up, okay? And if you haven't figured it out by now, the whole shipment is all the same. We have, I think, 1,000 of these Copper Petrum catfish in this shipment. So it's going to be a lot of work for me tonight, and it's a very tedious job, but um, this shipment is going off to Asia. It's an in-transit shipment that comes in from Peru. We repack it and then send it on out to Asia. So basically I just wanted to show you guys you know uh, you know all the different facets of the tropical fish business. Um, you guys have seen already quite a few videos uh, regarding stingrays and as you guys can also see we're expanding out into dealing with uh, more of other types of tropical fish. Um, I've always done this kind of stuff on and off here and there for my Asia clients and uh, now that I have a YouTube channel, uh, I can show you guys. But back then when I was doing this, I didn't have a channel, obviously. So uh, it's going to be a long night and a lot of work. And uh, we have my clipping machine there, which I'm going to put to good use tonight because these fingers won't be able to handle tying that many rubber bands. Everything's okay, Oi? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. These two boxes here is actually not part of the ongoing shipment. Um, this was just a little something I added into the shipment for ourselves or myself or or for you guys, whatever. Um, actually, let me show you guys. Anybody know what that is? Let me try to get you a better look right there. So we got two boxes of these. Let me pull up another bag. Yeah, these guys are a little bit bigger. 
Okay, for those of you who don't know, these are the red wolf fish out of Peru. So we got uh, two boxes of these, and uh, they will be up for sale at uh, Predatory Fins real soon. Oh wow, these are much bigger. Nice. Why don't we open these and tank these first? Yeah. Okay. much about these fish all I know is that they're very aggressive and uh, they're very territorial so I'm not even gonna attempt to hold these guys because I think they have teeth and they can bite but let me get some water in in here you see there's a lot of scales in there um, they're probably like nipping at each other in the bag Alright, but you know, they look very strong and healthy, very thick fish. They don't look skinny and malnutrition, so that's a good thing. This bag, the water's kind of dirty, huh? Can I get this crap out of there? Oh. <laughs> oh, he closed the water. You turned it higher. All right, so that's one bag, and we've got like a what a million more to go, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so we released the wolf fish into the tanks and they're looking okay, settled in very nicely. And uh, we got the women hard at work right here, cutting, opening the bags. Can you guys not? One, two, oh, three, sorry. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You should be okay. counting it as you open it. I am, but I lose track of the numbers. So I'm okay. yelling at the fish to tell them to stop moving. All right, so these are cute little buggers. Yeah. Just wanted to give you guys a good look at it before I continue on with my work. Add the water slowly. Yeah, that's 12. Okay. Why are there hairs in the, in the water? Uh, what hairs? That's their whiskers. Oh. <laughs> I, thought, I thought they were hairs, so I was like. <laughs> you don't keep your hand on it and then get a touch face. You don't keep touching face. No, I just do the boil. All right, so they're very healthy. Like I said, the water's very clean. So this, I think, is gonna be a very successful shipment and we're gonna get back to bagging. All right guys, so it's about, I think four, let me think, we started at 7.30, 8.39. It's about five hours later, okay? And uh, we're finished up now. I'm gonna take a quick nap, and then early in the morning, we are gonna go drop it off at the airport, all right? So I'll take you along with me, but for now, I'm gonna take a quick siesta. All right guys, it's now the next morning. We're back and uh, we're sealing up the boxes. We took a look at the fish. Everyone's looking okay. Uh, we got the ice here ready and uh, we're gonna stick in the ice bottles now. Here, go ahead, Roy. we can put it right in there. Put two, one in there, one in there. Up, standing up, standing up. All right, and then just stick one right there. All right, so these are the final steps of the of the packing, getting ready for the export, and uh, we're gonna seal it all up right now. All right, guys. So I don't think uh, watching me tape up the boxes is very interesting. But uh, once we get to the airport and we're unloading it, I'll show you from there, alright? I also wanted to show you guys really quickly the fish that I uh, kept, the wolf fish, and I did keep some Piriibas, or the false Piriibas, which is also known as the Capo Petrum. So, 
Let's show you the wolfish first. There we go. And I fed them already and they're eating very well. You see a couple of them got bulging bellies already. And uh, they're not fighting as badly as I would have expected. I researched it online before bringing them in and it said that it was gonna be aggressive and territorial. But uh, Rodrigo said if I uh, keep them well fed, it would keep it down to a minimum. So, so far it's working out okay. You know, a little bit of nip fins here and there like that guy, but uh, no, um, or no severe injuries type of damage and here we go we got the little copper petrums really beautiful very active and healthy I love those feelers how long they are they look like trailing ribbons all over the place so it's pretty cool to watch them swim around my daughters were uh, really fascinated by it and they were staring at it for quite some time but uh, cool everything's looking good all right, everybody, I just got back from the airport and uh, I wasn't able to really film anything for you there. Uh, I was there by myself, so I didn't have an extra person helping me to film. And besides, uh, all I did was just sit in the van, wait my turn for about three hours. So I, I took a good nap in the van again and then basically just handed them the boxes and got the heck out of there. Shipping nowadays, especially with import and export, it's really crazy because of the whole coronavirus thing. Um, limited flights and and and, and whatnot so everyone's uh, you know trying to ship their stuff and it's just like crazy everyone is short-staffed or all the airlines and the cargo facilities are short-staffed so with the ex with the extra demand of the import and exports and the reduced staff it just becomes a nightmare to export it's been a crazy week that was what the third shipment that was the I think that was the the second import and one export so that's three shipments uh, for the week and I have another one coming in tomorrow morning at uh, 7 a.m. so it's gonna be another early start and uh, we're bringing in more fish stay tuned for that unboxing video that's uh, again another very special unboxing video um, I'm actually getting tired of saying it because you know it seems like every shipment I'm bringing in is quote-unquote special but um, so not to play it out just stay tuned and you decide for yourself what you think uh, of the next unboxing video. All right, guys. So uh, take care. I'm going to call it the end of this video today. And uh, everybody be safe.